Hello friends, welcome to Flywheel. We are not having a review of a car today, but we are on a very interesting, exciting tour through some of the most elegant cars in the world. Along with Cartier, Charles with Style, Conquer the Elegance 2019 here in Jaipur. So here is the oldest of all the participants here, 1906 Reno. And you can see it's more of brass over here in the car. It's the era of brass uh, and it is uh, one of the most rarest cars in India. It look amazing, it has very different uh, look and design and style. And as you know, uh, this is a 1906 8 HP car and it's been owned by uh, Srivardhan Konoria. And body style is runabout. <laughs> what I to say, these amazing beauties are all time classic, um, they are timeless actually, I can see all this stuff, I can see the interior, I'll take you around and all this stuff look amazing, a pristinely restored car and each and every centimeters or millimeters are perfect, you can see every word, you can see the perfection on this car, amazing it is. So how do you find the Cartier event as such? I would like to know from your end. I mean, it's it's always exciting to be here. This is an amazing event. I think it's that wonderful marriage between uh, Indian heritage uh, and, and classic cars, which is which is really all about living life well and, and respecting craftsmanship and attention to detail. Cartier are one of many companies that would never have survived had it not been for Indian royalty. Uh, Rolls-Royce being one of them, Bentley, Lagonda, Delage, all, all of these great names, and Cartier included. So this is sort of a, a lovely way to sh kind of show respect to, to Indian heritage and Indian culture. I, I have a spectacular time, as you can imagine, when, when the call comes in to say, would you like to come to India to be a judge again this year? I clear my diary. <laughs> I can guess that because the excitement uh, as a spectator over here is so much than the you are going to be much more because you'll be judging these guys. So here are some of the pre-World War era car, one among them, one of my favorite, Mercedes Pullman 290, it's a 1936, owned by one of the Maharajas and uh, you can see the logos. Here is another Daimler, which is a, a double six, again a huge car, you can see that pristine black color. Another Daimler has been shooting uh, by one of our uh, media friends here, yeah, you can see this here. Uh, the hood is open now, it's a 1937 and 24EL is this model, it's a Daimler again. Daimler as you know it's a god type Daimler's brand but now it's not with them but leave it, we'll talk about it later and here are a couple of cars which are very rare, Alvis, it's a 1936 P25, it's a very rare car, we don't have much Alvis here. Then this one is Lagonda, Lagonda you might hear this name but it's not as a brand now, it's been used by Aston Martin for their sedan, it's an amazing car, well -cooked well restored and the M45 Rapid is here and two other cars are again the, one is again the Anseldo it's a very rare car again 1922 model and behind that is the Fiat which is again again the one uh, 1920s car so these are the three world war cars and amazing collections Lagonda and Alves are some of the rarest cars and you know the Daimler and the Mercedes are also part of all these vintage classic collections
So, how do you find this Cartier event? You've been coming over here for a couple of times, right? This is my third Cartier event. I love this event. Great. Um, and every time I come, it's better. It's always in a different part of India. And every time they find better and newer old cars, oh, yeah. new repaired cars. And the standard has gone up and up and up. Do you know, when you come, as I do from Europe, it's really impressive how good India is yeah. at repairing beautiful old cars, some of which have been left here for years. Some of them arrived here in 1900 or something, you know, 100 and, I mean, over 100 years ago, and they're all here. And, they, and, they're, and they've been beautifully, beautifully repaired True. by mechanics, sometimes teams of 40, 50 of the world-class mechanics. And they'd start off with something that's like a pile of old parts <laughs> that are lying in the back of a garage. And then they brilliantly yeah. recreate them. And the bits that are missing, they manage to copy them, or they find them on eBay, yeah. or they get them from somewhere and they get them sent. And when you look around this field, you're looking at amazing cars. So this white beauty on my right is one of the rarest cars. It's a Skoda, popular. You know, Skodas are not much in India. And it's a, one of the rarest cars. And here is an Indian heritage. Wherein there's a Dodge Suburban. It's a 1956 model, you know, Dodge uh, Kingsway and all. Are one of my rarest cars. It, the designs then was amazing. Studebaker here, Studebaker champion. Uh, 1947, the year when we got independence. And there's a Baker 1950 again champion. And the behind one, the green one, is a Hindustan 10 1950 model. So it's all Indian heritage. And Studebaker, as you know, one of the most sought after vintage cars, uh, classic cars. So, so the Cartier show is now in the sixth edition. We've been uh, doing it for the past 10 years. Uh, we just try to bring in the best cars in India together. But it's not just the best cars. We try to group them in uh, special classes, uh, group them in, in, in special ways so that it's more attractive to, for the viewers to come and see it. Yep. Uh, we've got cars like this really early 1906 Renault all the way down to a 79 Ferrari here, but this is a, a new class we're trying okay. to get people to accept uh, newer cars as classics as well yeah. because we think maybe the 70s and 80s were just here, but these cars are also now 30 and 40 years old. Yeah. So it can be new cla new classic. A new classic, yes. So hopefully everybody will enjoy this class and then we can probably get uh, other regular limousines and special cars from that era for the next shows. So here is a 1919 Packard Twin 6. It's a huge car, you know, it's having a long hood. It's a long, big engine in it. It's got a cabin wherein the chauffeur sit and it's a separate cabin for the owners. It's a very uh, private area, you know, it's a very exclusive one. It's all for those Maharajas. And behind me is a 1931 Studebaker Commander and it's again a very precious road car and that's a Cadillac for sure that's a Cadillac V12 and it's a 1932 model V12 uh, we are running out of V12 now and it's just gonna vanish and here is one of the most restored Cadillacs over here pristine with that metal finish Again, uh, like all Cartiers, there is a very wide variety and with a lot of new different faces. Yeah. Okay, three, four cars may might be uh, seen before, but you have to understand that they were seen in a different context. They were exhibition class cars uh, earlier, which were never used for judging. This time they are proper entrants. Oh, yeah. So they will be. So sometimes there's ambiguity amongst uh, Indian media to sensationalized without knowing facts. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, so this event has got some great cars, like the one which we are standing in front is one of the rarest of rare American cars ever built. Yeah. And uh, it has been superbly restored to immaculate perfection and it is a rare car. A Gardner with a Lycoming engine. Lycoming if you know, yeah. were aircraft engine manufacturers. Yeah. And they made engines for not just Gardner, but for some great names like Auburn, Cord and Dusenberg. So you know where this thing comes from. Absolutely. And so this is your pick among all this car here? As far as this year is concerned, yeah, this, this is one of my top three picks. Amazing. I mean, it's always fantastic because this to me is really uh, the best beauty contest I've been to. Absolutely. Classic cars on display, showing their best. And uh, honestly, I think uh, I'm not a vintage car guy or a classic car guy, but I'm beginning to appreciate them more. Yeah. Especially now when you realize that, you know, the designs were so unique uh, and they could be because they didn't have regulations whether it's crash, uh, yeah. uh, pro, your pedestrian pro, crash or you know any safety regulations which kind of dictates the shape of a car. Yeah. Uh, they were just free flowing, you know, it was what, uh, it was they're much more emotional at that time. Uh, absolutely. And I think, uh, you know, one can see it and I just love this uh, going cars, uh, the Merc 220, uh, the uh, uh, yeah. convertible, <laughs> really, really. Super. Well crisp, no? but yeah, the kind of quality of paint you have to see absolutely. on this car is just, just, just amazing. So absolutely. this is your pick from here? This is one pick of mine and the other is uh, Jetha's uh, 35 Phantom 2 Continental. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that, that was a winner amazing. once, right? Yeah, that is, that's a Pebble Beach star as well. And uh, uh, we see that car quite often because uh, it's in our compound, in the auto car compound. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it's, uh, yeah, I, 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 amazing. Yeah, but there's some some really good stuff here. Yeah, yeah, so amazing. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, always, always a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for your time. Thanks. See you. Thanks. Thanks. The Cartier movement is going from strength to strength. What is important about Cartier is that it has brought a lot of attention to the Indian heritage of classic cars. Uh, India is such a great country with the vast levels of, uh, uh, of, of automotive heritage and, and automobilia yeah? and it goes to well over 100 years. So the attention of the world has come because of Cartier yeah. to this event. So I think it's fantastic. Amazing. And uh, it's been going from strength to strength also. Yeah. Yeah. So I have one of the restaurant here, Alan Almeida, and he's having this sprinkling Merc 220S, one of my favorite over here. Hi Alan, welcome to the show. Pleasure sir. So how have been restoring this? It's amazingly restored guys, See, you know Thunderbird and this one, pristine. Thank you sir. Uh, it's been a challenge doing this car because it's only one of two in the country. So to start with I had just the body and no trim so whatever you can see shining and chrome nothing was on the car. So we just had a body and the other car belongs to Malia so we couldn't see it for reference. So we had to fly to Stuttgart and photograph two cars that they allowed us to because it's a rare car. And that's when we made every single trim. Every single chrome trim on the car has been fabricated by us or me. And the detailing in the engine, everything. It was a one of a kind, rare car, expensive parts. Uh, but the outcome that has come is really phenomenal for me as well. I've been amazed by the car. It is. It is. It's a nice car. How long it took for you to restore uh, This was a one and a half year project in completion, doing the engine first because I like to run my engine. So I just did the engines and the mechanicals. Then as it is, drove the car for around 2,000, 2,500 all across India. And then finally we took up the body, making the prints. That was a one-year project. So six months on the engine completely with trials. And then one year on the project. And the main part was just making prints. So a lot of prints were made. Then later on the wood and the dash, the upholstery. Uh, but lovely. Same time I did the Thunderbird and the Vanguard at the end as well. Amazing stuff, I have to say hats off you guys. Amazing, keep it up, keep bringing more such sprinkling cars for us. Always a pleasure. Cartier show is not only about cars, it's also about bikes. There are amazing vintage classic bikes over here from Triumph Douglas, BSA, then you have the Harley, BMW, Royal Enfield, a lot more. 
uh, Norton, everything is over here. We can see around. Uh, these are the few of the oldest 1920s bikes. So this was a 27 Triumph. With this uh, again 20s uh, Douglas. Again a 21 or something Douglas. And there's a BSA over this. All are the proper vintage bikes, and there are a few vintage and classic all over the. Some amazing bikes. One of the one of the best collections I've seen on two wheelers. Cartier Travel with Style has come to an end and here we have the final winner of the all category this Rolls Royce Phantom 2 Continental which we have seen earlier is a winner been one of the winners in Pebble Beach as well so well deserved hour for this and on the bike it was an Indian Scout uh, yeah Indian Scout Chief which was again a pre-war model and these were the, the all together winner of this Cartier